We are so back. Somebody today has made a config that basically bypasses the new update that Valve made. Uh, and it kind of gets us back into a spot where we were before with movement and it makes B hopping feel good again, uh, JB feel good, and a, long, a working long jump. So before I get into that, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Ruby Rain. They're the one that figured out this config and I'm gonna leave a link to their Steam guide down below uh, in case this video just doesn't really get the information across that you guys need to get this working. So essentially everything's gonna be running out of a folder called movement and it's these files here. Uh, there's a couple here that you're gonna need and I'll leave a link in the description and also in the Steam guide there's a download link to this as well. So with this folder here, this movement folder, you're gonna wanna bring it into your Counter-Strike CFG. Uh, and if you guys don't know where to find this, you can go to your Steam here and you can right click CS, you can go to properties, installed files, browse, and then you can go to game, CSGO, CFG, and this is the right folder. So what you're gonna do with this WinRAR file is you're gonna wanna drag it in. I'm not gonna do it because I already have it in here, but you would drag this movement uh, folder in and then once it's in and all this is in there, you're gonna to wanna to right click and press new text document and then you're gonna to wanna to open that up. Now inside of it, you're gonna to wanna to write out what I have here, uh, bind mouse five plus JB slash slash jump bug, bind mouse four plus LJ slash slash long jump, bind M wheel down J slash slash jump and exec movement slash setup. I'll leave a copy and paste in the description. And once you guys are done that, you're gonna to wanna to press save as and then change your save as type to all files and name it auto exec.cfg and save. So once that's all in there, you'll be able to uh, B hop again and another JB bind will be set up and long jump bind will be set up. Once you're done doing all of that, I would highly recommend loading up a practice and going into your console and typing SV underscore cheats true and CL underscore show pause one. And that's gonna bring up this little net graph on the left side here. And just scroll and make sure that every time under the jump section, it shows 54.66 and that's how you know that everything's working. And just like all the rest of the configs, your side mouse buttons are different types of jumps. So one of them is a JB and another one's in a long jump. The way you can tell which is which is by crouching and then pressing one. And if it jumps and keeps your character stood up while you're holding crouch, that's your jump bug. And if the one that you press really quickly or hold keeps you in a crouch, then you know that's your long jump. So yeah, I'd say that this is on par with before the update. Uh, it feels just as good as it was. And I'm super glad that somebody figured this out. Um, you know, I'm not exactly too good at this stuff. Shout out Ruby Rain for figuring this out. Um, I just can't imagine the level of annoyance that this probably was setting up. If you guys actually read those files, it's pretty crazy. But we are so back. We are back.